This is the Milwaukee Fastback, model number 48-22-1505. And I can say with confidence that this is the best and most useful tool I've had in my life. And in this video, I'm gonna go over all the details, why it's so great, and I'm gonna compare it to some other options. This comes in at 240 grams, and with dimensions of 37 by 15 by 102, coming in at the 130 grams, 24 by 37 by 113, and with that, the Milwaukee is larger than the Leatherman, but nearly half the weight. So right off the bat, let me go over all of the features. So this utility blade has been used maybe a couple of weeks, and this one for a couple of years. And as you can see, the condition is not that different. This still looks really good. So that's the first thing I love about this. It is extremely durable and the quality is superb. So this has a really cool feature which makes using this knife extremely fast and faster than any other option out there. Even something like this tough build which just has this button that comes out is slower than using this one. So for example, if you wanted to use it, you just press the button, fling, and it's out. And to put it away, it's extremely fast. And that might not seem like a big deal, but when you're on the job and you just need to quickly open something and you pull this out, cut it, and put it away, it's extremely satisfying. In comparison to something like this, it's a lot slower pulling this out, using it, and then pressing this button to try to get it back in. So that's in my opinion, the main selling point. But this small, simple looking knife has a surprising set of features. First of all, you have your bottle opener, which is surprisingly useful for prying on a number of other things. Even in cases where I have something like this, I'll be able to stick this in here and pry on that. The next feature is this notch here for cutting different things. I honestly do not use that, but if that's something you're interested in, it has that. The next feature is right in here, and you can see that there's an extra blade in there. So you always have a brand new sharp blade on hand. And the next feature is this screwdriver and the screwdriver is amazing. I prefer to use this screwdriver over an actual screwdriver in most cases. I don't know what it is about this tip, but it fits almost all Phillips head from one, two, and three, and it fits it super well. And if we flip this around, we have this head, and removing this bit, you have a quarter inch socket here for clamps and many other applications, including using this as a lever and a pry bar. Countless times I've used this to extend something like an Allen wrench and pry on that. And this thing just holds up. And overall, the knife feels amazing in your hand. And for about two years, I have not left the house without this tool and I have abused it. I've used it as a hammer. I've used it as a pry tool. I've used it as a lever, everything in between. And it's still holding up strong. I bought two of these so that when one breaks, I could switch it out, but it's been over two years and I have yet to have a problem or have this break or damage at all. But even with all those features, you might be thinking, why not just go through the extra effort of carrying around a Leatherman Wave? I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit more effort to open this up and close it, but it's worth it. It has a lot more features. It has pliers, it has a saw, it has sanding here. It has a screwdriver, a can opener scissors, a small screwdriver, and this pry tool here. Now there's two reasons why I prefer this much, much more over something like a Leatherman Wave with a lot more features. The first reason I prefer this by a lot over the Leatherman Wave is interchangeable blades. With something like a Leatherman Wave, you gotta worry about what you're cutting with this. You gotta be careful. You can't hit metal with this. You, you have to take care of these blades. And after a while, you have to sharpen it, you have to learn to do that, you have to have the equipment to do that. To say the least, it's not a simple process to take care of blades like these. On the other hand, something like this that just has a box cutter blade is extremely sharp, and not only that, extremely cheap. You don't have to worry about maybe hitting a piece of metal or something like that. In some cases, I've even cut sheet metal with this. And at the end of that process, when this is extremely dull, you just press this button, pull this out, change it out for a new one, and it's as sharp as ever. So that's the first reason I love this and prefer it so much more over something with a lot more features like this. And the second biggest reason why I prefer this over the Leatherman or other options is because of portability. For the past two years, I've been just getting up and putting this in my pocket just like that. And it works super well. This clip holds it from moving around and it's easy to just put my phone right next to it and it doesn't hit against the blade or anything. Taking it out to use it is super simple and so is putting it away. So there's no pouch I have to attach to my belt or any extra steps. I just grab this off my nightstand, put it in my pocket and I'm good to go. 
as opposed to something like the Leatherman Wave, if I put it in my pocket, it's gonna be moving around in there, it's down here. If I put my phone in there, it's gonna be hitting against it, which is not good. And getting it out is not a simple process. So to even be comparable in accessibility, you have to attach it to your belt, and even then, it's not that easy. Something like this, that is right on hand, just like that, is just great. And that's what I think about the Milwaukee Fastback 48-22-1505. This is by far the best multi-tool I've ever had. I've never left the house without it for the past two years, and it's been absolutely great. Anyway, thanks for watching, and that's it for this video.